Hey, what's up guys? Google was behind Amazon on the smart speaker game, but has rapidly been closing the gap between the Google Home and the Amazon Echo. Both have tons of helpful and fun skills. Here are our top five favorite skills for the Google Home. Number one, one of the best new features of the Google Home is the ability to set routines. This means you can use a specific phrase to trigger several different pre-programmed actions around your home. For example, my Google Home is in my kitchen. In the morning, I can walk out of my bedroom and say, OK, Google, good morning. And Google will turn on the lights, tell me how long it's going to take me to get to work, and then read the headlines from some of my favorite media outlets. And it's super customizable, so you can program pretty much any phrase to activate all kinds of smart home actions. Number two. If you have a Chromecast or a TV with Chromecast built in, you can use Google Home to control things like YouTube or Netflix. Simply say something like, OK, Google, play Stranger Things on Living Room TV, or show me cat videos. And Google will resume Stranger Things from where you left off or show the highest rated cat video on YouTube. Depending on your TV, you can also tell Google to turn on or turn off the TV. In a future update, Google will let you see your calendar, news headlines, and more right on your TV's Chromecast. Number three, it's 2018 and we still misplace our phones all around our homes. Thankfully, you can ask Google to help you find your phone. If you have an Android device, Google will make it ring even if it's on silent or vibrate, so you no longer have to hope that you can hear it buzzing underneath your couch cushions. Unfortunately, iPhone users are still SOL. Google will call your iPhone, but the ringer won't go off if it's in silent mode. Number four, we mentioned in our Alexa skills video that Alexa is awesome in the kitchen. Thankfully, Google is also really great in helping you cook recipes. Simply ask something like, OK, Google, how do I make chicken parm? And then it'll walk you through what ingredients you need and then give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to cook it. Unfortunately, there aren't any Google Homes yet with screens like the Amazon Echo Show, so you can't see written ingredient lists or instructions. However, a handful were announced at CES, and they should be coming out later this year. Finally, number five. One of the best things about the Google Home is it can distinguish between multiple voices and profiles. For example, if I ask Google, what's on my calendar for today? It will tell me what's on my personal calendar. But if I, my wife asks, what's on my calendar for today? It won't tell her what's on my calendar. It will recognize her voice and tell her what's on her calendar instead. This also works for accessing playlists in Spotify, casting Netflix shows to Chromecast, and making phone calls straight from Google Home. If I tell it to call my mom, it'll call my mom and not my wife's mom. One last thing. As a fun Easter egg, if you're a Star Wars fan, ask Google who shot first. There's also a ton of other fun Easter eggs if you know exactly what to ask. What are some of your favorite Google skills? Do you use it a lot in the home? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Christian Cooper, and we'll see you in the next video.